Hello and welcome to Local Motors. My name is Nico DePere. Some of you may know me on the Local Motors site as I Design Cars. I am the design community liaison for Local Motors and here um, to help you get a better understanding of what happened recently uh, with the Forge website. So on uh, November 11th, 2011, Local Motors rolled out a completely new version of our co-creation platform and uh, we call this the Forge at Local Motors. For many of you who are familiar with Local Motors, this was a big change. Uh, and for others of you, this may be new. And uh, regardless of, of whether you've been with Local Motors for uh, several years or a couple days now, um, in this screencast, I just want to try and explain to you what the Forge is, how it works, and what some of our plans in the future are. So let's begin. The idea of the Forge uh, began um, with you, our community, uh, several months ago. After using the Local Motors website for nearly two years uh, to run numerous design competitions, host thousands of user-generated projects, it became clear that we needed to improve the co-creation platform and really take it to the next level. And so the Forge was our response to this need. We looked at the co-creation process from many different angles and came up with a lot of ideas on how we could make it, your experience even better. And essentially what the Forge is, is the old studio homepage taken to the next level and really, really streamlined. I mean, it's this is really your hub to co-create and work on anything automotive, no matter what your profile is. If you're a designer, if you're an engineer, if you've you just love doing CAD. Uh, what we wanted to do is really open up the doors because in the past, Local Motors was really catered towards industrial designers. And even though we had engineering design blitz, we didn't really have a whole lot of engineers on the website. And we really wanted to make a platform that would welcome in everyone. If you have a great idea, come to the Forge, post it, host it, uh, and get feedback on it and take it to reality, turn it into reality and we have a lot of really exciting things coming down the pipeline uh, that we're excited to tell you about. So when you come to the Local Motors webpage you're going to notice right now that it's totally different. The home page is very different, a lot newer look and um, it's it's not the old studio home and you're wondering well, where, where do I go now? What is the Forge? Uh, so let's go visit the Forge. When you click on the Forge, we know right now that it takes a little while to load and our tech team is working really hard to uh, streamline this and make it even faster uh, to work with. So this is what happens when you get to the Forge. It's a much different look and you'll notice there's no more um, car chat over here. We've moved the, the comments over here uh, to the right side of the page and there's no more portfolios or checkups or uh, design competitions or build stories. Uh, those have all pretty much um, uh, been transformed into what we call projects. Uh, and so the home page is really kind of a, a, a stream of what people are uploading and what people are working on. And it's just a very graphical stream. So you can see um, Nick Bauer, who is one of the interns at Local Motors, has po posted a lot of pictures of his uh, Dodge Dakota project. He did a solid axle uh, change out this summer and he really wanted to show this off and so you can see that he's been uploading these pictures to his profile. Um, and then we have a couple other people who look like they're uploading a lot of CAD files. And so you're going to see this changing constantly every day and it's kind of exciting because there's going to be a lot of fresh content and you can see it uh, on, on the site. Um, and what's cool now is if you click on one of these things you see the image right away and this is a new way of looking at the images. Instead of having the light box that blacked everything out uh, before, you can actually take this little uh, viewer here and you can open up many different windows and you can change the sizes of them. You have three different sizes, so the small, medium, uh, boost it up, and if you click on the big one, it actually opens up in a new window so you can see it full size. And this is a welcome feature because a lot of uh, designers uh, were and some engineers were actually posting images that were 5,000 pixels across. And so in the light box, it would t take up your whole screen and uh, you wouldn't be able to see see the image. And even on, on someone who had a big 30 inch screen, uh, 5,000 pixels would totally take up with the, the huge screen. So I'm gonna close that uh, and then you can close these, but you can open up multiple ones. And the advantages of this uh, going down the road, you'll see it as I explain projects is that you can actually have an image uh, 
floating around while you're leaving a comment. So you can keep referring back to the image instead of having to scroll up and scroll down or click on the light box and then hide the light box. So while this may seem kind of awkward for, for some uh, users who were used to our old website, uh, I want to show you the really the advantages and why we made the decision to be able to open up multiple windows and kind of drag them around within your browser. So I'm going to close both of these now. And uh, I'm going to go uh, now over to Projects. So Projects is basically the, the new checkup. Um, we thought that checkups, the, the term checkup, didn't really make a whole lot of sense. Uh, you know, a lot of people, we'd have to explain what checkup was. And the idea behind a checkup was that you'd post your, your work and you'd get feedback on it. Um, and so, and then so people would check up on it as you were going through the process. But when we really looked at everything uh, from a different uh, perspective, we realized that what you contribute to uh, Local Motors or now to the Forge is really a project, whether it's uh, a design, whether it's uh, an engineering CAD model, whether it's uh, a draft that you've done, it's all a project and, and uh, you need feedback on your projects the same way that if you're a student in school, your teachers give you a project to work on. And so we wanted to uh, kind of simplify it and streamline it. And so what a project is, is it can be a sketch, it can be a CAD file, it can be uh, a text document, it can be anything that you want to gain feedback on. Uh, it starts as a project and it ends and you can take it from sketch all the way to a 3D printed model uh, or beyond to a full scale vehicle. Um, it's a full full on project. People who tinker around in their garages are, refer to what they're working on generally as, oh, that's my project car or that's my that's my project for this summer is to rebuild my transmission. And so we wanted to bring that language to the forge. So here you go. Here you have a a good overview of um, projects that people have uploaded. And so uh, I'm going to take a look at the, the SSC Tatara uh, interior design project. This is a project by our um, longtime community member, Bron Arsh. And uh, he did a great job on this. He's gotten press on uh, Autoblog about this. Uh, he won it. Um, he won a competition and uh, doing this in this CAD project. So you can see, just like uh, in the past, you can leave feedback, uh, and so here's the feedback, and um, I'm gonna show you how you do that in a second. But uh, I just th this is what a project looks like. Now I'm gonna actually create my own project in a second and walk you through that. But just want to go through the home rest of the home page. You can go to competitions right now. It only shows entries from the last competition held at, at Local Motors, which was Terrapri. And um, uh, it was a great competition, a lot of wonderful work. Uh, but we're going to streamline this eventually and actually have like the title of the competition here and the first few entries, another title of the competition, other few entries. So this isn't really complete right now. It's, it's just what we, we can do. But we're going to continue working on this to refine this because down the road, there's going to be a lot of competitions uh, happening at uh, the Forge. And I'll talk about this a little later, uh, but just wanted to walk you through that. And then if you want to see all the comments, uh, you know, here you see like the most recent five over on, on the right hand side, side. If you want to see all the comments, you click here and you can, it takes a little while to load, but you see all of the comments and you can just keep going down and down and down and load more. And uh, it takes a little while. So, so give the, give the, the site some time, um, but uh, you can just keep, Keep seeing all this. This is the equivalent of the old car chat. Uh, and so we wanted to be able to give you the ability to see everything that was happening uh, very easily. Now I wanted to go back and show you one of the coolest features that we've brought to the Forge. In the past, you were only able to upload images in the form of JPEGs, GIFs, or PNGs, and then comment on them with text. And it worked really well, but it was somewhat limited. There's a lot of community members who use CAD, and we wanted to bring the ability to upload CAD files and also share CAD files on the website to the community. So what we did is we partnered with Siemens, and Siemens built an incredible viewer for you. So what I'm going to do is I want to show you this viewer in action. It's really, really cool. So I'm going to go down here, 
where I know there is some uh, uploaded CAD. And I'm going to click one of these images. Mike Bazzani, an engineer at Local Motors, uploaded several CAD files of parts that he's made for the Rally Fighter and other vehicles. And so you click on the image. You can see the image. You can see it in different sizes. And then I'm going to click on the image again, and I'm going to get this message to install the Siemens JT Viewer. I'm on a Mac, and I will be able to use this. Uh, so that's a really, really cool feature. It's cross-platform compatible. And so it doesn't matter what computer you're on, you can install this viewer. All right, so now that I've installed the JT viewer, I can go back and I can click on this CAD model really easily. Just click on it, the viewer will launch. There you go. Give it a second. And there it is. We have CAD in a viewer on the page. Now I can click and drag this and rotate it around. And there's a lot of really cool features um, that this viewer has. I'm not going to really go through all of them right now. Um, I think I'm going to let Isaac and Alex do a screencast to explain to you that they know the, the correct terminology. But I know that you can get like dimensions on the CAD um, and there's a bunch of little tools up here that you can use that is pretty cool. So for example there I can put a center point there and I think I can put another center point here and there you go I have a dimension I've just pulled a dimension from this piece of 76.2 millimeters from center to center I guess really really cool so this viewer is very powerful and allows you to spin CAD around so that's probably the one of the biggest additions that we brought to the forge I hope you're really really excited about it one thing to mention is that there can only be one instance of CAD running at a time. So if I want to look at this model and then I want to look at this model, for example, um, if I click this model, it's going to launch the viewer. And I can see this, but you can see that it automatically put this one back to just the image. So now I can, again, rotate this model around. So that pretty much covers it for an introduction to the Forge at Local Motors and many of the new features that we've added. Stay tuned for updates. We're going to add many new features in the coming weeks, such as tagging and easier searchability. In the next couple of videos, I'm going to go over your new profile, as well as how to create a project and why projects are the new checkup. So check out those videos, and I hope this video helped you understand some of the features and how to get around the Forge. If you have any feedback or questions, feel free to send those our way. We'd love to hear what you have to say, and we really just want to keep making and co-creating this site with you to make it the best possible experience you can have to co-create and work on cars in collaboration with people from around the world. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.